Hello and welcome to UIDSTML guys. So today I am going to explain about closer. Let's discuss about closer in this video. So if I try to give a definition of closer, it's very simple. A function returned a function with its lexical scope. If I can assume that you have the knowledge of lexical scope. But if I try to give a short note on this, lexical scope is the scope which uh, tries to access its variable or any siblings inside that function. If it doesn't find, it goes to the parent function. If it not finds, then it goes to the global finally. So this is what the lexical scope is. So finally, if I try to define a function for looking for closer, Let's define one function sum. I defined a function sum here. I'm putting one variable a is equal to 10 for a second and tries to console.log. This is just a simple function. And if I put a here and try tries to call this function here. Okay, this is just a simple function which gives you 10. Let's look for closer if it is a closer or not. Then go for sources. And you have console.log here let's put a debugger and reload this function what you see you see this is a local school local and this window a10 there is no as such closer here let's make it closer so definition says says a function returned a function so if function tries to return a function let's define a function right I'm trying to define a function here Let's give y for a second and try to access this a rather than calling this console.log at this point put inside y and tries to call this y function and inside some function. See what you will get here. If I try to run this again and reload this function, see you will get closer. So this function sum is now in closer mode. Why? Because you are trying to execute this function outside, trying to outside because it's a, it has executed, but it remembers the value of A. You can say the sibling of Y. This Y remembers the thing because sum has already been executed. So let's return this function for a second to know why it is wonderful, why it is useful. Okay, so let's return this function. If I put return here, return, then you will not have to put this parenthesis. If you try to put parenthesis here, then definitely you will get undefined because you are not returning anything and you are just consoling this A. Let's remove this parenthesis. Okay, if you are returning something from from some function or any function, then you will have to store into variable. Let's put one where z is equal to sum. So now this z will have one function that is function y. This is the beauty, right? Let's console dot log z here. I'm just just consoling this z. What I am getting from sum save it i'm just removing this debugger that we know that it's a closer for a second and if you try to reload you will see you are getting function y which has been result returned by some function here okay but sometime it happens you see this return is written here return here so these this return and this return both are same you will have to put either either this either that both are same there is no changes only to shorten the code okay let's keep it simple if if let's keep it simple and remove this keyword from this place this is looking prettier okay now what will happen if I now you can call this Z function if you try to call this z function you will find you will get 10 here you can now call this z function n number of time and you will get 10 10 10 
so you have now you are eligible to access this variable a outside the sum function with the help of y function okay because these two are sibling so but you will see that sum is has executed once if any function is executed ex if function is executed from stack inside the stack then you cannot retrieve that right you can you can call this function but yeah you will get the same that has already been executed but in this case let's call this sum function again if i try to call this sum function again after here what will happen see does it give you any impact because it is returning let's put another um, uh, let's put in z only z is equal to this okay now again execute z here what you will get you will get 10 line number 7 again now let me give you one more thing just in put a increment plus plus a you what you will get 11 12 13 14 15 11 because you already assigned that function to z after executing everything but why this is 11 12 13 14 15 let me remove this see some function has executed once then at that time this a has some value that is 10 now this function has can access this a and it has been returned right it went to z so this function is now in z and you have called z if you called the z then in this phase this y because under the hood you are you are getting y right let me console.log g once again here so z here so this function y now has the access to control a here right you are controlling a here and a has been incremented that's why this a now becomes 11 you got the result from this place 11 again you called z now a is has become 11 so this becomes 12 13 14 15 such a. so what is the benefit of this one okay the benefit is you can make a module modular pattern design where you can protect your data privately see because a is not accessible from outside right but you are accessing from outside with the help of its sibling through closer so this is the beauty of closer here if you like this video then give a thumbs up and please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will have a better clear understanding of javascript in coming videos as well so let's meet into next video with new topic till then thank you bye bye